This video is a good place to begin with if you need to know about retinoids. There is retinal dehyde, there is retinoic acid, there is retinyl esters, there is retin A, there is retinoin and so many more. The key to know is that all of these are collectively known as retinoids. The difference though is that there is also a variation called retinol. Retinols are something you'll find in over-the-counter products like you'll find them in serums, you'll find them in night creams, you may find them in your moisturizers. Whereas retinoids, the prescription strength retinoids are generally used under the guidance of a dermatologist or a doctor and with good reason as we'll find out in the video ahead. To begin with, let's understand the science behind retinoids. Retinoids are backed with solid science. It's been proven over and over again in their efficacy of anti-aging as well as improving the quality of skin. Scientific fact number one, retinoids affect the epithelial cell turnover. Now in a healthy skin, the epithelial cell turnover window is between 21 to 25 days. However, as we mature, or due to other reasons, that window might shift to 35 to 40 days. During this time is when your skin starts looking dull and aging actually sets in. Good regimented use of retinoid can actually restore this window back to the healthy period of 21 to 25 days. Scientific fact number two, retinoids are able to work on the subdermal layer of the skin and compact the stratum corneum. Stratum corneum is comprised of dead horny cells. So when stratum corneum is compacted, that actually gives a very luminous quality to the skin. So we're not talking about fairness, we're talking about this deep, beautiful glow that healthy skin has. Scientific fact number three, retinoids are able to work on the glucosamine glucans which actually work in strengthening the structural proteins of the skin. That is, they're able to strengthen the collagen and the elastin in the skin. So it's good to know the scientific facts, but how does it affect our skin? Well, it affects the skin dramatically. And there's a timeline to when you can expect the changes to show in your skin. The first change you could see is that your skin becomes smoother, softer and subtler. And this happens because the epithelial cells are now being restored at a very healthy pace of 21 to 25 days. Secondly, you can see the fine lines and wrinkles diminish. And this is happening because the elastin and collagen in the skin are getting strengthened. And that actually improves the quality of the skin, makes it stronger and younger. Thirdly, it's a gold standard in treating stubborn cystic acne. And the reason for that is continuous use of retinoids are actually able to improve the epithelial cell turnover plus make the skin stronger. As a result of that, not only do acne breakouts reduce, but also over a period of time, you can actually stop acne completely. Fourthly, packed with vitamin A, it has the enviable property of being able to reduce scarring and fading it away with time. So not only does it work on acne, it also helps minimize acne scars. And lastly, it is the gold standard for treating hyperpigmentation or melasma. And that's because it's able to enter the subdermal layers of your skin and actually work on melanocytes, which help fade hyperpigmentation over a period of time. The logical question is what can you expect when you're using retinoids and what is the timeline of change? Well, when we start using retinoids, there is something called a retinization process that your skin needs to undergo. And during this process is when your skin is being eased into the retinoid use. Typically, you might feel itching, you might get redness, you might get flaking. It's a good time to consult with your doctor and adjust the amount of retinoid that you're using. A good rule of thumb is that you use the quantity that fits into half a digit of your first finger. Now, of course, the digit size might differ in different people. So always go back to your doctor to confirm the dosage that will work best for your skin. Begin with using it maybe twice a week. And then once their skin gets comfortable to it, there's no flaking, there's little redness. You then bump it up to maybe thrice a week. And once your skin eases into that, then you move it to four times a week. So the retinization process requires that you listen to your skin and adjust the dosage accordingly. I divide the timeline of change into three, the first month, the third month and the sixth month. 
In the first month, the skin gets smoother and softer. In the third month, the fine lines have diminished, there is more suppleness in your skin, there is more luminosity because the statin corneum is more compacted and your skin is feeling younger. In the sixth month, however, is when you see the dramatic effects of retinoids. Not only have the fine lines and wrinkles diminished, but even the coarser wrinkles, the harder wrinkles become more softer. And that's happening because the structural protein of the skin, the elastin and collagen, have been restored and made stronger. So it's highly advisable to stick on to at least six months or longer to see the real impact of retinoids on your skin. They are the gold standard in anti-aging and with reason. Now, as we begin using retinoids into the skincare regimen, it's important to be aware of five critical things. Number one, retinoids should not be used on damp skin. Water typically neutralizes retinoid, so you won't see the full impact of retinoid. Number two, have a look at the other ingredients in your skincare products. Now, if there is presence of AHA, you might want to not use the product the day that you're using the retinoid because AHAs also neutralize retinoids. So a good thing to do is that move the AHA to the days that you're not using retinoid. The third is benzoyl peroxide. If you are under an acne care treatment, it's very possible that one of your products or more might have benzoyl peroxide as an ingredient because it's also used for anti-acne. Benzoyl peroxide utilizes retinoid as well. So a good rule of thumb is as you introduce retinoid to your skin, have a look at all the ingredients and rule out AHAs and benzoyl peroxide. Number three, retinoids are a complete no-no if you are breastfeeding or you're pregnant. Last but not the least, and the most critical, usage of retinoids actually makes your skin prone to a lot of photo damage. So you've got to use sunscreen every day, even on cloudy days, and replenish it every two hours. You may not see the sun's damage immediately on your skin, but for sure, if there is no sunscreen being used along with your retinoid usage, the damage is definitely double, and it may be visible in six months or a year's time. So it's strongly advised to have a good sunscreen protection and SPF 50 is a good rule of thumb. So this brings me to the end of the video. Just as a caution, I'd like to add here that prescription retinoids are not to be fooled with. Even though in India these are available over the counter, I strongly advise that you meet a dermatologist before you start using them on your skin. There's a lot of damage that retinoids can do to your skin when used carelessly or in contradiction of other products. I hope that was helpful. Do subscribe and like, and I'll see you again. Ciao for now.